Welcome analyzers, let's dive into the cyber world. Introduction, cybersecurity involves safeguarding web-connected systems, such as servers, phones, electronic networks, and data, from cyber attacks. It combines two components cyber, which refers to technology like systems, networks, programs, and data, and security, which focuses on protecting systems, networks, applications, and information. Cybersecurity Goals Data protection is a top priority in cybersecurity. The CIA Triad Principle, consisting of three key principles, ensures its security. Let's unveil the secrets of the CIA Triad. Cybersecurity Goals Developing information security policies based on the CIA model is essential. The CIA Triad consists of three principles. Confidentiality, ensuring privacy and preventing unauthorized access. Integrity, maintaining data accuracy and protection against unauthorized changes. Availability, ensuring information is always accessible to authorized users. In this slide we discuss about this model. Categories of Cybercrime We can categorize cybercrime in two ways. First, the computer as a target. You can use your computer to attack other computers, example hacking, viruses, worms, DOS attacks, etc. Second, the computer as a weapon, using a computer to carry out real-world crimes, such as credit card fraud, etc. Types of cybercrime, malware, three types of malware are viruses, spyware, and botnets. Viruses is a malicious piece of code that's spreading from one device to the next. It's capable of removing files and spreading them across the system. Spyware is a program that records data about user activities on your system in secret. Example, the spyware could be able to collect personal data from a credit card. Botnet is a bunch of internet-connected malware devices, which allow hackers to monitor them. It enables cyber criminals to get credentials leaks and unauthorized access. Another cyber attack is distributed denial of service. DDoS is a form of cybercrime where hackers attempt to disrupt the regular traffic of targeted websites, services, or networks. They achieve this by overwhelming the target's infrastructure with a flood of legitimate requests from multiple IP addresses. This excessive traffic can cause system failures, server overloads, significant slowdowns, or temporary interruptions in the organization's critical operations. A man in the middle, MITM attack is a type of cyber threat where a cyber criminal intercepts communication or data transfer between two individuals. By appearing as a legitimate participant, the attacker can gather sensitive information and manipulate the communication without the knowledge of the involved parties. The primary objective of this attack is to gain access to commercial or customer information. Brute Force Brute force attack is a cryptographic hack where cyber criminals employ a trial and error method to guess all possible combinations until they find the correct information. This attack aims to obtain personal information such as passwords, login details, encryption keys, and personal identification numbers of targeted individuals. SQL injection, SQLI is a prevalent attack where cyber criminals utilize malicious SQL scripts to manipulate backend databases and gain access to sensitive information. Once the attack is successful, the attacker can view, modify, or delete sensitive corporate data, user lists, and personal customer information stored in a SQL database. Another cyber attack is Domain Name System, DNS which involves redirecting traffic from legitimate DNS servers to a fraudulent DNS site without the user's knowledge. This can result in the compromise or theft of personal information. As DNS plays a crucial role in the Internet infrastructure, these attacks pose a significant cybersecurity risk. There are several types of cybersecurity tools which are firewall, antivirus software, intrusion detection and prevention system, virtual private network, encryption tools, multi-factor authentication, security information and event management tools. Firewall. A firewall is a vital security tool that prevents unauthorized access to private networks and the transmission of data through them. It can be implemented as hardware, software, or a combination of both. The primary purpose of a firewall is to protect private networks connected to the Internet by blocking unauthorized users from gaining access. 
Antivirus software is a program designed to prevent, detect, and remove malware attacks on computers, networks, and IT systems. It provides protection against various threats such as Trojan horses, worms, keyloggers, browser hijackers, rootkits, spyware, botnets, and adware. Additionally, antivirus software safeguards against malicious activities. IDPS, an intrusion prevention system or IPS, also known as an intrusion detection and prevention system or IDPS, is a network security appliance that monitors network and system activities and detects possible intrusions by blocking or stopping activities, logging information, and reporting them. VPN, a VPN or virtual private network enables the secure connection and encryption of network traffic by routing it through a remote server. This technology provides protection for sensitive information and enhances online privacy. Encryption tools, encryption tools are used to encrypt sensitive data with the use of cryptography. Encryption is used on data to protect it from hackers. Only admin and admin granted users can have access to the data, others have not. Multi-factor authentication is an additional security measure that requires users to provide more than one form of information during the login process to verify their identity. For instance, after entering a password, users may be prompted to provide their fingerprint as an additional authentication factor. It's like Google's two-factor authentication during login time. Advantages of cybersecurity. Both data protection and network security are ensured. Restricted unauthorized user access. There will be a quicker recovery time after any security breach. Protection of users and endpoint devices. Cyber attacks and data breach protection for any system software. The company's reputation and credibility are more trusted by developers, partners, consumers, stakeholders, and workers. Cybersecurity safety tips. Update software and operating system. Updating software and operating systems to take advantage of the most recent security patches is the most common security measure. Use antivirus software. Using antivirus software, which will find and remove unknown threats from your computer. Use strong passwords. Long and distinct combinations of characters and symbols should always be used for the password. It makes the passwords hard to guess. Do not open email attachments from unknown senders. If an email attachment comes from anonymous sources or unknown websites, a cyber expert recommends it. Avoid using unsecured Wi-Fi networks in public places. There are some famous cyber attacks happen in this world. Recently on September 18th, a hacker leaked approximately 50 minutes of in-development gameplay footage from Grand Theft Auto 6. The leaked footage showcased different stages of development, including animation tests and unpolished gameplay sequences featuring a female playable character in modern-day Vice City. The authenticity of the leak is confirmed, as the hacker gained access to Rockstar's Slack channel, an internal communication platform. Another incident happened in July 1999, a 15-year-old named Jonathan hacked into NASA's system out of curiosity, leading to a 21-day shutdown of the affected server. The attack cost NASA approximately $41,000. Jonathan had been searching for vulnerable servers and found one in Huntsville, Alabama. He gained access to 13 computers on the server, which belonged to the Marshall Space Flight Center, a unit of NASA involved in advanced rocket engine development and managing communications International Space Station. In 2007, Estonia faced a wave of cyber attacks that disrupted government and corporate websites. The Estonian authorities implicated Russia, including the Kremlin, as the source of the denial of service attacks. However, Moscow denied any involvement. These cyber attacks were sparked by Estonia's decision to relocate a World War II memorial, leading to protests and unrest among Russia's government and Estonia's ethnic Russian minority. In 2013, Adobe experienced a cyber attack that impacted a larger number of customer accounts than initially reported. Approximately 38 million active users had their usernames and encrypted passwords stolen, and account information from inactive accounts was also compromised. The attackers also obtained source code for Adobe's software, including Photoshop, Acrobat PDF, and ColdFusion.
Conclusion, cybersecurity is of key importance to the digital world, as threats are becoming increasingly frequent. Learning how to protect yourself from such threats and teaching others will be of great importance. Cybersecurity is a never-ending struggle, but no permanent solution to the problem can be found. However, there has been a significant increase in efforts at improving cybersecurity posture and public awareness. Thank you. Goodbye Analyzers. You can download the PPT from our websites. Stay tuned for more such videos. The video is over. It's time to take over the world now.